one of the most evil movies in the history of Jesuitism is probably V for Vendetta. Now in this movie, they have this masked man because he was injured, severely injured in a fire. So he went through the fires of affliction. It is a skit of the Jesuits and the gunpowder plot where they wanted to blow up the British Parliament and King James. Now, again, whether it's a false flag and it's a double false flag or a triple false flag, let's not go into it, but British Parliament was that bastion of Protestantism that had banned Jesuitism and the mindset of Jesuitism and was the protecting factor of Protestantism. So it was the ultimate enemy. It had to be destroyed. And Guy Fawkes and six Jesuits wanted to blow up the British Parliament and the King, thus ridding the world of the menace of Protestantism. Now, the mask is the face of Guy Fawkes, who was sentenced to death and martyred. But in the movie, constantly, you are reminded that this story may never be forgotten. This man was not a villain, this man is a hero. Now, just in history alone, they've managed to do that, because every year on exactly the same date when he tried to blow it up, they celebrate Guy Fawkes. And it's a joyous occasion, kids can't wait for Guy Fawkes. You positivize that which is negative, and you use the negative in, to your advantage. They even got Shakespeare to write it, which I doubt his Jesuit superior wrote it for him, his Gnostic uh, Medici learned supervisor and filtered it in amongst the people as this evil of the Jesuits and made a joke of it. And eventually, as a consequence, the Jesuits were actually allowed to operate, or the Catholics at least, in England again. You always have to be a super strategist. Now, in this movie, this young lady eventually is the one that pulls the trigger because he dies just beforehand, so she becomes an acronym of Mary, which is Lucifer, who will destroy Protestantism, and where they first failed in their early attempts, they will succeed in their later life. And uh, this is one of the advertisements. He's making the Masonic crossed swords, which you will find everywhere in, in Masonry and in Gnostic, Gnostic Freemasonry. An X is an ancient symbol, according to Jim Tresner, 33 degrees Scottish Rite Journal. An X is an ancient symbol for change or transformation. Long associated in medieval and Renaissance art with the coming of the Messiah who shall make all things new. So this is a religious movie showing the victory of Satan and the Jesuit order over Protestantism, the overthrow. That's why in the cathedrals they always have Loyola standing on the head of Martin Luther, crushing him, destroying the Bible. They make no bones about who the enemy is. And it's interesting that in this movie, eventually, this is an artist's rendition, the parliament and, of course, uh, all of the buildings associated with it blows up and is completely destroyed. Nothing left. But the clock stands where? It is the final hour. It is finished. They have succeeded. The job is done. Protestantism and Bible-based theology will disappear. And eventually this masked man who stands for Guy Fawkes and the effort to overthrow Protestantism, the mask is worn by the entire nation. What does that mean? It means that the entire nation, through time, has been indoctrinated to have the same character and mold and thinking as they had. When the Bible tells us about the face of God, Moses was not to see the face of God. He conceived me from behind, because nobody can see the face of God 
and live. So I'll hide you in the cleft of your rock and I'll cover you with my hand. And I will go by and then the character of God is, is given in the most beautiful poetic form. The face stands for the character. It stands for the mind. It stands for the thinking. The world will wander after the beast. It will be indoctrinated to have the mindset that he wants you to have.